Namaskar, Vanakkam and hello everyone. Today's session is about how to design a blog or website on your own. And before we get started about uh, the practical aspects of it, I would like to cover some theory about registration of domain and picking up the right hosting service for learning the art of making a blog or website on your own. Why should you really learn this? As discussed in lesson number two, WordPress management is one of the important components or important skills which are required in order to become a successful digital marketer. So I hope after this lesson, you will be in a position to create your own website. Um, and uh, I would also request you to have your domain registered as well as self-hosted at, uh, at the sites which I will refer you today in the session. If you could learn the art of making the website, uh, there's nothing like that. Uh, trust me, because it's not a very tough process. Because I would like to simplify this process of technology as much as possible in the session. What types of blog exist? When you are blogging, uh, there are two types of options available for you in the market. One, you can run use free blogs and then you can go on uh, self-hosted blogs. Now, when I started my blogging journey, I started from uh, free blogs using marketingchips.blogspot.com. I was on Blogspot. And uh, then I moved my blog from um, Blogspot to WordPress and I had also registered my domain by then called sorofjane.com which is almost five years old now. Free blogs, yes, it's good. It does not have any startup, startup costing. Uh, it is easy to maintain quickly to get started. But it's very less professional. When you try to say that you are a blogger or you have a website called uh, sorofjane.blogspot.com, it doesn't look very professional in the industry. Uh, plus these uh, free blogs which is uh, .wordpress.com or .blogspot.com do not give much opportunity for you to customize. So you will have to go with the uh, website with the set themes that is already available and you can't do much of the customization in terms of the plugins and uh, uh, adding of um, uh, various elements. However, there, is, there are no maintenance cost when you are uh, on a free blog. I am uh, recommending today for you to go on wordpress.org uh, that means uh, we are trying to create a paid version of the blog. Um, the matter here that you need to really look at is yes it's paid, it's yourname.com so it's more professional branding good for SEO and your digital identity. You can use all the plugins which are available, uh, there are some free plugins which are doing some brilliant job and there are some, there are some paid plugins too if you want to use that you can use them as well. There is monetization freedom. You can create many pages, as many pages as you want. You can uh, smartly use your blog for affiliate marketing. Um, you need to ensure the two things which we need to take into consideration, yearly hosting and domain registration cost and plus cost of uh, templates if in case you're going for the paid template. However, there are many free templates which are available in the market, so you can choose them as well. Now, what is the process of uh, creating your own website? and? Uh, for that, you need to first book your domain, you need to host the domain, you need to set or install WordPress, you need to customize the WordPress and add the plugins. You need to integrate these important plugins uh, and see how it works uh, in wonder or in favor of you. And you just need to get started with the blogging thereon. So let's now first look at some two important uh, things in today's session. One is uh, booking of domain and second it's the hosting of domain. Now, seven important tips for booking your domain. Now, what is a domain? Domain is nothing but the address on which a person would land up in order to check out the, try the kind of things that you're trying to sell or the kind of information that you're trying to put across on the internet. Now, while you're booking your domain, which is yourname.com, like I have a domain called sorofjane.com, you need to keep your domain simple. Uh, don't make it very complicated with uh, clever wordings or homophones or numbers or double letters or long or hard to spell words. Uh, it's, it's best to have shorter URLs, uh, best is 10 character URLs um, or 10 character domain names. Don't make it longer. You need to understand the objective of the domain name even before you register for the same. There are three kind of domain names guys. One, brand name, for example, ecomi.in, mintra.com, flipkart.com. These are brand names. You have second option of booking your domain as yourname.com. Yourname.com is the smartest strategy ever in order to create a very good personal brand on the internet. 
you uh, some of the examples of branded brand uh, personal brand uh, here or personal brand domains are um, sorofjane.com neelpatel.com you also have options of creating keyword based domain for example we are launching this influencer marketing platform called the influencer so you see the keyword influencer there i love diamonds.com for the brand uh, brand which is trying to sell diamonds caratlane.com which is trying to sell gold diamonds and silver this these kind of domain names are good for search engine optimization because you have the core keyword uh, integrated in your website or in your domain or in the url so this is a good option as well so in case you do not have any particular brand name in mind and uh, you do not want to create your personal brand and your objective is to majorly use the domain name to drive traffic and make money i know a lot of bloggers who have uh, uh, blogs on bloggersideas.com and uh, many other domains out there which is very relevant to the keyword uh, on which they are trying to create the base and the empire so it's important that you really understand what you want before you go and book your domain if you're serious about your online business you need to at least book your domain for 5 years i'll tell you why many times you forget to renew your domain after a year and uh, that might become a problem for you so i when i book my domain i at least book it for 2 to 3 years to begin with so it's good that you book your domain for longer duration because google do consider it credible that you're not the short stunt uh, or short short stunt guy so you need to really uh, also tell google in a way that uh, the domain that you're trying to register is for the long uh, run and not for a short period .com or .in or .org or there are many other domain options which are available my suggestion would be for you to go for .com uh, because that's the most popular amongst all and uh, it's more global uh, than .in uh, or the local uh, domains that you would want to create however it doesn't mean that it will not bring you international traffic it will still bring you international traffic if you're registering for a .com domain also also register for the username in .in for example if there's sort of jane.com i would also register sort of jane.in or if there is uh, ecomi.com i have also registered for ecomi.in what happens in the journey is that you try to retain your brand name uh, with the most two common uh, uh, .ins or .coms which is very important ensure you register you register for your facebook page or your twitter channel or youtube channel with the same domain uh, name as the user name for example if uh, the influencer is the if the influencer is uh, the name of the domain uh, then i would also register my twitter instagram with uh, facebook.com/influencer or twitter.com/influencer so it makes all the most sense for me to have one common username or domain all across the internet there are various places where you can buy your domain you can buy it from name.com or namecheap.com uh, these uh, domains have very high security you can also buy your domain at a very affordable cost from godaddy.com or bigdog.com uh, i always prefer godaddy however uh, today's session we will be focusing on booking the domain on hostgator.com so hosting a domain is very important your domain is almost like your address and you need to host it now so you you have various kind of hostings available in the market you have shared hosting like hostgator.com and then you also have dedicated hosting which you can also find it on uh, hostgator but remember dedicated hosting or cloud hosting or vps hosting is more expensive than uh, the shared hosting uh, larger companies usually go for a dedicated hosting because they believe that these servers uh, need to be very secure and they believe that the shared uh, servers are not very secure uh, which uh, so there are higher chances of your website or domain getting hacked when you go for shared services but uh, when you have a dedicated third server you are not uh, you are not going to lose data to anyone and hacking is uh, not very possible to dedicate that service what's the difference between domain and hosting domain is like your address and hosting is the property that you build it's the space that you purchase in order to build your property so domain name is the address your hosting is like the land uh, or the space that you buy the left amount or the size of space that you buy and the data file the products the things that you try to develop on that is basically the furnitures in the home so where should you host your website you can host your website on hostgator.com if you go to hostgator.com through sorofjane.com/hosting uh, i also get a referral commission through this process this will help 
me uh, help me to teach you how affiliate marketing works so i would request you to go on hostgator.com to solidchain.com/hosting why i am recommending hostgator.com because this is the only site which gives you a very cost effective solution unlimited hosting and they also have good customer service in the place now what's next so now that you've learned about how to register your domain name before that i will also want to insist on one important thing that when you register your domain name and you're not getting ideas if you are aiming at seo based domain name you can log on to snapitnow.com type down the keyword pickup.com and ask them to generate names for you this site will immensely help you in generating some names which you can basically use for creating an seo based uh, domain or url for your business or for your personal branding so if you see i have typed down influencer it puts across to me that these are the available domains and these are domains which are taken so it just gives you some quick idea with reference to the keyword you can basically pick up for uh, your choice so we will now decide on your domain name you will have to decide on your domain name uh, you will have to register your domain name you have to enter hostgator using sorofjane.com/hosting uh you have to pick up a baby plan or the hatchling plan you can use the coupon code for special discount and uh, we will learn about installing wordpress in our next session thank you so much i hope you enjoyed today's session it was short and crisp here and uh, i hope i could quickly get into the practical session after this so let's get started guys thank you so much